So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Jeffman 316 Custom YouTube channel. I'm your host as always, Jeffman 316, your pop culture reporter, and welcome back to what's going to be a news update video. And in this news update video, we're going to talk Halloween kills. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm personally looking really forward to Halloween kills when it comes out next month. How about you? There's so much news and promotion and everything going on and discussions online right now that can be a little overwhelming. So I'm making this video to calm you down and refocus everybody before it comes out. You got magazines hitting the stands. You got uh, 4K movie upgrades coming out for the sequels like 1 through 5. You got all this merchandise hitting Halloween stores right now. And then you look online and people are just losing their shit because of all the latest news coming out. Two pieces of news, one about the reviews that are coming out after the Venice Film Festival, um, and then also about the way the movie is going to be seen come October 15th. So I just wanted to do this quick news update video about Halloween Kills and tell everybody to just chill the fuck out. So before we talk about Halloween Kills, do all the normal YouTube stuff for me. Like or dislike the video. Um, I'm looking for feedback, that's all I want. Leave some comments below. Let's talk about Halloween or Halloween kills or any of this news that I talk about here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the video. Then after all that's over, hit the little notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. New news reviews about horror movies and horror reviews and that type of stuff. So, um, appreciate the support you guys have been giving me, but you know what? The time has come, boys and girls. It's morning. Halloween. Halloween. No, no, no. The time has come, boys and girls, for us to talk about Halloween Kills. Let's go! So I can't recall a time when people were just losing their ever-loving shit over a Halloween sequel. Quit that, sorry, you know what I mean. I mean about a sequel that does actually include Michael Myers. I don't remember them going crazy like this. Trick or treat, motherfucker. Oh yeah, that was pretty bad, but give me a break. You really know what I mean. Let's start about the news that came out of the film festival where they showed Halloween Kills in Venice recently. People are starting to hear and read the reviews coming out of that festival, and it's gotten some really rotten ratings on sites like Rotten Tomatoes. At the time of this recording, Halloween Kills had a review rating of 56% by reviewers on the Rotten Tomatoes site. People in some of the Halloween Facebook groups I'm in, they're just losing their ever-loving shit, going total batshit crazy. They're like, should we be worried about the ratings? Um, why is it getting such poor reviews? Um, who are these people to actually review it and give it this low of a rating? Do they even like horror movies anyway? Well, actually, why does anybody give a shit about what reviewers online are saying? Well, they shouldn't even listen to reviewers, right? Oh, wait, unless they're named Jeffman316, right? Oh, hell um, yeah! If you love the original Halloween, the Halloween 2018 also, and you're anxiously waiting for Halloween Kills to come out, all I can say is just calm down, and I'm sure you're going to be thoroughly entertained. Come on now. If you go back and think, if you really loved 2018 after you watched it, even with its peanut butter on the dick jokes, its brownie jokes, its toenail jokes, the sartain putting on the mask, um, then why are you worried now? Look at all the positives that we know. All right, let's go through them. We've heard rumors that this is going to be way more brutal than the last one. We've heard that Michael is going to murder his way out of the house, which will be an epic opening for the movie for sure. You know, uh, Nick Castle is obviously still involved as Michael somehow. Two thumbs up for that. You know what the Myers mask looks at like, and it's going to be epic with the burns on it. People are even rehauling the shit out of these things on Facebook groups and online, on Instagram and everything, to make it look closer to the movie. And they haven't even seen the movie yet in the U.S. You know there's going to be a flashback to the 78 classic original, which is going to include Loomis in some way. You know John Carpenter is back to help with the score? Jesus, that's awesome. You're even going to get callbacks to the original movies like the Halloween 3 mask, Tommy and Lindsay are returning characters. You see Michael jump on the roof of the car in the new trailer um, to go after another returning character in Marion Chambers. 
You even look on Internet Movie Data Database and you see Charles Cyphers is listed as coming back as Lee Brackett in some manner. So come on, this is going to be epic, right? Calm down. Plus, I personally loved Halloween 2, the original, and the Halloween 3 season of The Witch. And look at the rating, ratings for those on Rotten Tomatoes. Halloween 2 is currently at a 32% for reviewers and Halloween 3 is at 41%. So with those ratings, what are you worried about? Plus, let me cleanse the palate for you a little bit right here. I love the movie Midsommar. And that movie has a rating of 83% by reviewers. And I think I'm the only one that I know that loves that movie. So they can't always be right. So let's get on with the other news. So they also announced that Halloween Kills will be released day and date in theaters and on Peacock. And there was more pants shitting going on online after they dropped that, I could see. Why? I don't even care myself. I love having that option. Peacock is even cheap. I personally think it will be re uh, it's being released on video on, on demand on the same day because of the growing concern of the Delta variant, you know, the unknown. Um, if you want to see it in theaters, let's go. Uh, you can watch it in theaters and then run home and then watch it again on Peacock. If you don't even feel safe and don't want to watch it in the theaters, at least now you have an option. So two options, something for everyone. So it doesn't worry me at all. I'm actually happy. Now I have a choice no matter how I feel that opening weekend. Theater, Peacock. So let's go ahead and go over a few more new news nuggets to get us ramped up for Halloween Kills. There's an epic new Total Film magazine out, which I bought. It's got articles about Halloween Kills. Look at that cover. It's awesome. The Fangora magazine is coming out soon. I'll throw the cover up here. going to love that as well. You know, the soundtrack's coming out on October 15th, and that's going to be epic as usual. Um, check out the tracks Rampage and Unkillable on Amazon Prime now. They sound awesome, and they involve John Carpenter again, like I said. Then get on down to your local Spirit Halloween and Party City and places like that, and you're going to have options to buy the new mask. My store is open soon, and I'm going to get one of those for sure. I probably won't even rehaul it. I'll just get the best one that looks, you know, that looks the best in the store. There's also then a cool NECA figure that's coming out, an action figure of Michael Myers with the burn mask. I'm going to throw up some photos here, and you know NECA always kills it. Um, they do a great job with all the figures they release. It's going to be great, so what are you worried about? So what are your thoughts on all these news nuggets that I just threw out in rapid fire? Are you worried about the reviews? Are you worried about how it streams? Do you like all the merchandise coming out? Are you ready for Halloween kills like I am? It doesn't matter. It's going to be epic if you're a Halloween fan. Don't worry. Chill out. So I really appreciate you coming by and listening to me rant and rave about uh, Halloween Kills. Like this video or dislike it after you watch it. Leave any comments below. Let's talk about Halloween, Halloween Kills, even Halloween Ends. What do you think about that coming out next year? Whew. So now I can take a break and I'll just thank you like I said. Keep supporting the channel, keep subscribing, keep commenting, keep sharing, and hit that little notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I post new movie reviews, horror reviews, everything pop culture related. That's what we do here. So until next time, boys and girls, don't do it. This is Jeffman316, your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.